Hi St. Peter, it's the 25th of June. I'm anxious to be back with you. This week I received a document that was developed in partnership with the Illinois State Board of Education, the Illinois Department of Health, about the transition to the opening of schools in the fall. We're in phase four now of the Illinois, of the Restore Illinois plan. And appropriate social distancing, face coverings, enhanced sanitation measures, and other accommodations are necessary to ensure the safety of our students, staff, and families. We've just entered this stage four, and our Illinois Department of Health guidelines state the following that we need to adhere to. Number one, uh, they require the use of appropriate personal protective equipment, PPEs, and that includes face coverings. Um, gatherings of more than 50 people in any gathering space are prohibited. Social distancing is to be observed as much as possible. Schools are required to conduct screenings, symptom screenings and temperature checks, or require that uh, individuals self-certify before entering school buildings. And there's also a requirement for increased school-wide cleaning and disinfection. We're ready to meet these guidelines, and I know that um, for some it's going to be very different, but yet we're going to make it as normal as possible, as comfortable as possible, so that our students and teachers can be face-to-face -face in their learning. You know, all public schools and non-public schools are required to follow these guidelines in our state, and they're uh, subject to change based on public health guidance and um, public health conditions as they may change. Within the next month, you're going to hear more about our remote learning days. Um, they'll be similar to the plan that we adopted this past spring for at-home instruction. Um, if there's a time when we're unable to be in attendance in our building uh, due to a resurgence of the virus or a second wave of it, a fall remote learning plan will go into effect. Um, remote learning, like I said, is going to be similar to what happened last spring with some enhancements. Uh, daily attendance and engagement of students will be expected whether the students are in class or remote, um, remote learning. It's important for teachers and students to maintain their daily contact so that our education can be enhanced. Now, we know that uh, the summer brings challenging times as we move forward for each of us. Um, we're just recovering from um, something that we've all gone through with this pandemic. And um, there's still many unknowns, but yet we want you to know that um, your student will be safe at school with us. And August 17th is the date that we're looking for for our first day of school. You'll hear more about that when we send an info uh, note to you in the next two weeks. God's blessing to each of you. Enjoy your summer. And we're so happy to have welcomed so many of you back through your registration process. God's blessing, St. Peter. Take care.